Shaku on. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Wakar Kadash, Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the world, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say Shalom to the Akim out there. And the title of this lesson is Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and the script of salvation, and the fear of the Lord's is treasure. Right, so wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, having a sound mind, a stable mind. In the current times that we are in, in the times that we are approached, as us being the children of Israel, and being the, uh, as being the men of the Lord out there on the, uh, streets teaching, the ministries of Yahweh Shai, which is the Heavenly Father's only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, as his uh, true name in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. So, wisdom and knowledge shall be stability of thy times, and continue to follow the, the righteous path and the righteous ways of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. And I look up the word stability. So, definitely, it's a good thing to uh, have wisdom and knowledge. You know, in the sight of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. In stability, the definition of stability is a noun, the state of being stable, right? The state of being stable, you know, having a uh, sound mind, a stable mind, a balanced, right frame of mind, you know, because you definitely want to have no unbalanced mind, unstable, unbalanced mind. Hey, we want to follow the ways to having a stable, sound mind. You know, the right way of a, a sound mind, a balanced right frame of mind, a positive right frame of mind, of a sound mind. You know, and be spiritually sober, mentally and spiritually. You know, just like it says in First Peter five and eight, uh, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the deceiver, is a roaring lion, walking about seeking who he may devour. You know, because spiritual Satan trying to knock you off course and have you with these evil, uh, evil, uh, evil and bad thoughts. You know, we definitely don't want to be in that continual cycle path. You know, we want to continue to be in the path of having a uh, sound mind, a balanced right frame of mind, you know, because having a uh, balanced mind is the right way to approach as continue to seek wisdom and knowledge from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, and continue to learn through the Holy Scriptures as well, too. Like the Scripture says in Revelations 1 and 3, blessed he that readeth, you know, through precepts I get understanding, right? Continue to get that understanding of uh, wisdom and knowledge from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, and definitely having that uh, sound mind. A, a balance, a right frame of mind in the times that we're currently in, in the times that we're about to approach as well, too. So as I read it again, this is a book of Isaiah, chapter 33 and 6, and wisdom and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and the script of salvation, and the fear of the Lord's stretch right, the continue the script of our salvation as well, too, and continue the fear of the Lord, and that's then continue to fear the Lord's his treasure. Right? That's a beautiful thing, you know. That's following the path of the Heavenly Father Yahweh and His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai through the wisdom and knowledge from the Heavenly Father Yahweh and His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai and through the Holy Scriptures as well too. Walk, walking with wisdom, wise as serpents, arms as doves. You know, putting on the spiritual armor of Yahweh so you will stand against the wiles of the deceiver. You know, so walking with wisdom and knowledge. You know, it's a right thing to follow, you know, right path. And it leads into a uh, long living, everlasting living, prolonging, prolonging our lives longer. Worth walking with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Having a sound mind, a stable mind, you know. So with that, hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying of uh, bringing out the book of Isaiah, chapter 33 and verse 6. So with that... Hopefully this was edifying, like I mentioned before. And I would like to give all praises and glory and honor too to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Akakadash. 
Shalom to the uh, elders, personal word, truthfully and sincerely, and Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, personal word, truthfully and sincerely as well too. And until next time, I will say Shalom.